This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some important update to share with you. President Biden made a big speech announcing to get rid of junk fees, saving Americans billions of dollars. I'll play the clip of exactly what he's talking about. Also, President Biden's executive action for student loan forgiveness is blocked at the moment and may not happen at all. There's $1,000 checks that are available first come, first serve. I'll let you know more about that. New housing for all program, and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Thursday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-based updates, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more daily straight-to-the-point updates on important financial matters. So let's get into it here. Uh, White House fires back in court against block on student loan debt forgiveness. So it's being held up in the courts by Republicans and it may not happen at all. Biden's student debt cancellation program is in grave danger from Republican judiciary. The program is almost certain legal, but that fact is unlikely to persuade judiciary dominated by partisan foes. So when it comes to student loan forgiveness, the 10000 and 20000 at the moment, it is blocked despite the White House saying it's okay to sign up. Their applications are open. We just don't know if those applications and the forgiveness will be fulfilled at this moment. So when it comes to President Biden's executive action, looks like it may not happen at this moment. Uh, bad timing, especially before the midterms for Democrats and Cleveland introduces uh, 15 million in 15 million dollars in new housing for all requests stimulus watch. So yeah, looks like Cleveland, Ohio has a big proposal to help out locals uh, and fund a hundred vacant and abandoned homes throughout the city. So yeah, that's what's going on there in Cleveland. And then brand new direct payments worth $1,000 up for grabs thanks to $2.1 million pot. Apply immediately before cash runs out. So this is going on in Tacoma Park, Maryland. So it looks like $1,000 checks there. And applications open October 25th. Uh, yeah, they open at October 25th, 8 a.m. And said, yeah, it's a first come, first serve basis. So if you know anyone there, that money might even be gone by the time this video is going out. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. And then also 233,000 people applied for 3,250 spots in Cook County's $500 a month guaranteed income pilot program. So Cook County, that's the uh, Chicago area in Illinois, and recipients will be chosen by lottery in mid-November with payments expected to begin in December. So this is the probably the biggest $500 a month guaranteed income pilot program, and they have a lot of people, 233,000 people applied for it. Uh, so yeah, they're going to figure that out in a few weeks. And then uh, President Biden to take on junk fees as part of his plan to combat inflation, saying that he is going to help save Americans billions of dollars. He addresses inflation as well as a few other important issues. Take a look at what President Biden has to say here. Well, good morning. Today, my administration uh, is announcing new actions to lower the cost of everyday living for American families. To put more money in the pockets of middle income and working class Americans. To hold big corporations accountable. And these steps will immediately start saving Americans collectively billions of dollars in unfair fees. And I'm here with the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, Mr. Chopra, as well as the chair of the Federal Trade Commission, Lena Khan. And we're remembering, uh, we're, they're, they're members of the Competition Council that I created last year to promote competition across the economy and lower costs for families. One of the key things I've asked the Council to take on was the unfair hidden fees known as junk fees that are taking real money, real money out of your pockets, real money out of the pockets of American families. Things like, as been mentioned, surprise banking overdraft fees, excessive credit card late fees, hidden hotel booking fees, or those huge termination charges to stop you from switching cable and internet plans to, do, to a better deal. Surprise charges that companies sneak into bills because they can. In fact, there's an entire industry that's popping up in America to help companies use complicated algorithms to hide fees that hurt consumers and help them. These things add up. <clears throat> Remember we talked in the beginning of the administration about the study done, I think it was at Penn, that if an average family got a $400 in uh, charges or bills in a month, 
that they couldn't pay, they'd have to sell something and or have to, ha and, or have to borrow the money. Well, <clears throat> this adds up to more than $400 for a lot of families. The way I think about it, the way, have you heard me say it before, my dad used to talk about it, and so many other people talk about it around their kitchen tables. How much your monthly bills, how much do you have to pay for necessities? And is there enough left over just to have a little breathing room? We're making progress in bringing down the cost of families. And by the way, the price of gasoline continues to fall. It's down for the third week in a row. They're down $1.25 a gallon from the beginning of the summer, and gas prices in the decade before the pandemic were averaging $3.30 before the pandemic, before I got here. During the pandemic, there was no one was driving, so the gas prices went down. But even with historic recovery, we're seeing in the economy of 10 million new jobs and unemployment of 3.5 percent, gas prices are continuing to go down. And because they're going down, we're making serious progress in getting prices close to what they were before the pandemic. The most common price right now in America is $3.39 a gallon. It's going to come down more. And they're going to come down even further when gas companies, when the oil companies agree to our demand, my demand, to pass on the savings from the price of a barrel oil, which is considerably down, to the pump, where, in fact, you get, you get charged by the gallon. Each year, but each year, these junk fees, in addition, that companies charge cost America tens of billions of dollars, weighing down family budgets and making it harder for people to pay their bills. So my administration is taking action to eliminate these fees. First, imagine this. Your child outgrows his bicycle and you decide to sell it online. And someone pays you a check, pays you 30 bucks for the bicycle or something. Days later, that check that you got paid with, that you deposited in your bank, it bounces. You didn't know it was bad, but you get charged 15 bucks. You get charged 15 bucks. It's wrong. It's ridiculous. It's unfair. My administration is making clear today it's illegal as well. Second, my administration is also making clear surprise overdraft fees are illegal. Listen to how those fees work. And some of you, you all know this, I mean, because you know from your everyday lives. But you pay a bill and uh, you double check your bank account to make sure before you write the check that you have enough in your account to cover it. You've gotten the money, so you go ahead and you pay. Then it turns out your balance wasn't up to date because your bank was slow in processing other charges. And by the time the bank gets around to setting the, settling the transaction, you've overdrawn your account. You charge an overdraft fee that runs around $35 each time. It's not your fault. The bank screwed up. You didn't. The bank did. You had a positive balance when you paid the bill. It's just simply wrong. And today, my administration is making clear it's also illegal. Today's actions are going to save consumers more than $1 billion each year. And that's a lot of money back in people's pockets. As Director Chopra uh, shared this morning, that his team is even going further developing rules and guidance that would take credit card late fees and other banking fees that cost America's $24 million billion a year, take them on. And we're just getting started. There are tens of billions of dollars in other junk fees across the economy. And I've directed my administration to reduce or eliminate them. Last week, the Federal Trade Commission Start at work on a rule to crack down on unfair and deceptive fees across all industries. Fees that were never disclosed, never disclosed. And there was no way to avoid the fee, like processing fees for concert tickets or like resort, or resort fees. When you think you're paying one price to book a hotel, and you only find out after you're checking out that there's a resort fee you never heard about that's added to your bill. And the Department of Transportation is going after unfair airline fees. Last summer, if your flight was canceled or delayed, only one top airline guaranteed that you could rebook for free, even because they're the ones that canceled, not you. You didn't fail to show up. They, can, they, were, they, they canceled. When Secretary Buttigieg called them out on this, about 10 airlines, uh, now 10 airlines rebook for free. They don't charge the fee. That's progress. The Department of Transportation is working on rules that would require airlines and travel sites to disclose fees up front. Fees like things, if you want to sit next to your young child, <laughs> well, guess what? Or your, check your baggage or change your ticket. You're going to be surprised 
They're going to charge you for that without telling you. Your ticket's going to cost a heck of a lot more. And that's not a Federal Communications Commission. They're working on a rule that would make the same thing for fees that Internet companies charge, requiring them to show those costs up front. I'm not saying they can't charge it, but you got to let you know they're going to charge it. You can make a decision. What are your thoughts there? I think Americans are tired of the talk and they want to see more action. Americans want to see help being delivered, not help being talked about to try to get a vote for the midterm elections. Uh, if, if I think if the Democrats want the votes of the American people, rather than talk about all the things they're going to do, they really have to deliver. Same thing goes for the Republicans as well. Americans are tired of all the talk. Americans want action and need help now. Uh, let me know if you agree with that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys. Hi guys, this is Belle. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you one I want to tell you something. If if you can't find a way to do something, then then do something that you really want to do that you haven't done. Hi guys. If, if you can't make the first one happen. So that's all I wanted to say. Say bye. 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 Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Uh, ankle slightly doing better, less swelling. And uh, yeah, big day today. Uh, we got kickboxing and other fun stuff. Everyone else is doing really well. Family's all good. Uh, hopefully everything is good with you. And yeah, if you want to check out any of my other videos and my other channels, click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.